We are here on Trash Talk with the New Providence Ecology Park. Today, our first official guest is none other than Nicholas Fox, a social entrepreneur, permaculture designer, and owner of Soul and Soil. Nicholas has been composing for nearly a decade, and we are hoping that he can teach us all about it. Nicholas, how are you? Pretty good. How all are you? Well? I'm good, man. You look good, too. You look good. Thanks, man. Not to show up today, man. That's good. So, I've been told that composting involves food, food waste. So for those who are new to the conversation or don't know, what is food waste and why should we all care about it? So, you know, food waste is anything that we can eat or reuse in prepping food that we throw away. So things like your carrot peels, your potato peels, your those types of things, your mm -hmm. chicken bones. And we should care about it just like how we care about where our bodily waste goes because it has an impact on how we live and uh, where it goes. So if you just throw your food waste to the side, it attracts different animals and that has a potential. And rats yeah. And roach. And all of that could bring disease, you know? Right. And nobody wants to see that. Right. Or even experience that. No, because I, I scared a roach. I ain't gonna put no uh, I scared you scared a roach. Well, you I, shouldn't I be was, scared I of was, I was at some point. And yeah, then like, you know. Seeing when, them every day. Why be scared of them? Yeah, and then they have like the multicolored roach. So what do you mean multicolored? They have like they the have light like green, green roach, roach, the yellow, the yellow roach, roach, the white roach. roach like, like, okay, moving on because <laughs> I know kind of roach you be seeing. So um, with the food waste, can all um, food be composted? Like which food can be and which food which food can't? So you have your fruit and vegetable peels. Okay. Your eggshells. Mm -hmm. Your coffee grounds. Your yogurt. Okay. And those are most of the things that we eat that can be composted. What about like dog food? You have your dry dog food or your dry pet food that can be composted. Or turtle food. Yeah, because it's all it's all dry grains that they pelletize and it can, it can go. So what compost. they don't eat, you just throw in your compost. Yeah. And you add to that. What about can't? You can't compost anything that comes from an animal, like their meat, their bones. So not, no pork chop? No. No pork chop, Barbecue no rinse. no oil, so no bacon grease, no cooking oil, none of that. It goes rancid and has a really foul odor. It takes a really long time to break down. Okay, let me present let me present a Bahamian dish to you. Mm -hmm. Full Bahamian dish. Peas and rice. Only the pot cake from the peas and rice. Not not too much peas and rice. All right, you didn't throw the meat out the question. Fish. No. Compost you can't fish. compost fish. Not, not as an average compost. Everybody could compost meat. So, I mean, meat can break down. Mm -hmm. And they have this method called bokashi. And what that's, is bokashi? Bokashi is a certain microbe that operates with no oxygen. So you take your meat and you put it in, a, in an environment with no oxygen. You cover it with maybe a tarp and you spread the microbes on it. And it produces a, a fungus that breaks the meat down over a period of time. And what's that called? Bokashi. Bokashi, okay. Okay, what else? What about coleslaw? You can't compost coleslaw or potato salad or anything that has this uh, mayo in it. Mm, so, okay. That that has that, you know, when you leave coleslaw too long on potato salad, it starts to go rancid. Mm -hmm. And even the egg in the potato salad, once that starts to smell and break down, that's going to start attracting those pests that we don't want, you know? Right, because people are scared of rat and roach. Yeah. So we don't want them around our compost. And right. we don't want your compost to start to smell. Yeah, because okay. it means your neighbors could start saying things. Yeah, yeah, of course. The government ministry are held on you. <laughs> I don't know. So they're so, throwing garbage out in the open. And that's it. Because then mm. when they start to smell bad, then they can start saying, that's not compost, that's garbage. Right, and you definitely do not want that right. bad smelling compost around your house. So other than food waste, what, are, what other items I assume in your household can you throw in your compost to, you know, just to add to it? So we have uh, toilet tissue rolls. You see that one? Some of them have some plastic in it, but this is compostable. Let's that, just, so yeah. your toilet paper you don't use or would drop or you don't, you yeah. can throw that in your compost? Yeah, otherwise you flush it. Okay. What else? I got some more items here. Just finished drinking that. You can't compost that piece. Uh, little coffee in here, that could go. This is, yeah. That's good. But this, let's say if we rip it and it has a plastic lining. Don't compost don't it. Compost That's very it. important. If the container has any kind of plastic or what else? 
any type of plastic lining, you can't compost. Don't compost it. Or if it has a, a waxy film, so you drink it and it has like, it's shiny, mm -hmm. you don't want to compost it. Okay. No, not even gonna touch it. I ain't even touching it. These, right Been here. stressing you out. Stressing me out. <laughs> They're supposed to be biodegradable. Yeah. Compostable. And we supposed to all be great people. Right. <laughs> but, but these have to be cut up. There's a lot of stipulations when it comes to compostable plastics. Okay. So these, I find that when you cut them up properly, they break down quicker. Okay. And that's because how composting works, or most things in biology, the more surface area something has, the more microbes can act on it to break it down. Okay. So these these break down. I'm just gonna take this out. This is very hard to break down, but if you break it up, you need a deflator. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's really good. If you if you break it up, I mean, yeah, it may be harder to see in the compost, but okay. there's a higher chance that this is gonna start to break down because they probably have some protective coating on the outside so it, it wouldn't break down. Got you. Yeah. Two more items, right? I got a plate of food here. Of course, we're going back to, is, oh, it have green oh, on the top. It have food in it? Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> I was Egg, to... bacon, and, and grits. Okay, so. What's compostable, what's not compostable? This container, you have to cut this up. So a lot of people probably, probably don't cut up their, they don't. their I mean, stuff, they just throw it in wholesale. And I mean, I can't blame them for that because that's a lot of work. You know, you want quick Get fast my scissors food, and cut up this. You gotta, yeah. Right. So when you have a larger composting facility, these still take a long time to break down. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to do your part and you feel driven to do so, you could cut these up. But your eggs and your bacon can't compost. Okay. And, uh, you can't put that in your compost mm -hmm. bin. But the fork inside this and some of your leftover grits can go Back to compost. compost. I have yeah. one more thing for you. You ready for this one? It's a Bahamian all-time favorite. What is it? What is and it? I got to know mm -hmm. because I have a stack of these in my house. Oh, the staple. The infamous go-to snack attack thing stuff. <laughs> you, you, you know. Yeah. You know, Ram. So, like, tell me about that because, you know, all us, every household has at least two packs. The chicken. That's, that's I'm trying great. to be fancy with the shrimp. Oh yeah. yeah. You don't normally get the shrimp one, you know. Right, right. Chicken or beef. Right. So let's break this down. It comes in a plastic package and right. you can't compost this. And then you know the seasoning pack inside. You can't compost that either. But the noodles themselves, you could compost that. So you crack that up. Yeah. Throw that in your compost. Mm -hmm. They may take a while to break down because they're pretty processed, but they will break down. Awesome. Well, we've started this exciting conversation with Mr. Compost King himself, uh, all about garbage. And you're watching Trash Talk with the New Providence Ecology Park. So stay tuned for part two of this composting episode with Mr. Nicholas Fox himself. <laughs>